And guess who got a color refresh? Jet black. Back to all black, y'all. And I love it. Hey loves, welcome to my channel. My name is Kayla and if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more videos to come and give this video a thumbs up because more hair tutorials are on the way. So I wanted to share with you guys my favorite tools and products to maintain my straight hair or silk press for up to two weeks. Pretty much even longer than that if the weather permits. So starting with the products first, these are two different price points. They work very, very well. You can use one or the other. I don't really recommend using both because they pretty much do the same thing. But on the higher end, we have the Color Wow Extra Strength Dream Coat. And I swear by this, this is an amazing anti-humidity um, blocker. I actually went to Greece last year and I had this in my hair. When I tell you my hair did not like really budge until maybe the last day on the trip. And mind you, I was around like a lot of water. So when I think about if you're in climates that are really, really humid, this is something that you're gonna want. People even say they use it on their curly hair too. I think there is one specifically for curly hair. So if you're someone who really struggles with um, frizzy hair or the humidity just makes your hair blow up and ruins the silk press, you need this. I actually spray it on a little bit before I blow dry my hair, blow dry my hair with it in, and I'll spray a little bit more on the blow dry hair and straighten it. And to me, it works. Some people complain, but I can definitely tell that it definitely works. And what I will say is this is not a product that you want to keep loading on. So once you put it on that one good time, you should be good to go. The next one is the Cream of Nature Anti-Humidity Gloss and Spray. I really like this. In fact, when I was in college, I went to school at Florida A&M University. Go Rattlers. Um, it's very humid in Florida. I'm from Atlanta, so the humid is you know pretty bad there in the summer, but in Florida, it's totally different. So um, I just remember my freshman year, I had to figure out a way to make my straight hair last. And this was my holy grail. I use this as a blow dry spray as well because it almost works as like a heat protectant. So I spray that on my damp hair before blow drying it. And then after blow drying it, I'll spray a little bit more. Same concept with the um, color wide dream coat. And then I'll just straighten it. Um, but this is kind of more of a two-in-one, so it acts as a gloss as well. So this is something you can continue to reapply. I wouldn't say applying it every single day because one thing to maintain straight hair is you don't want it to get too greasy. You want it to still be very flowy and very lightweight. And my hair is on the coarser side, so I do get away with maybe adding just a tiny bit of that gloss or even a tiny bit of oil and when i say a tiny bit i mean maybe just two or three drops and i'm mainly really just focusing that on the ends nowhere near the scalp the moment you start getting too much oil and product near the scalp is when it's going to get very oily and it's going to wear your hair down and it's not going to really last as long as it's just going to be dirty a lot quicker now if you're someone that is a little bit concerned um, about having either finer hair texture or your hair gets uh, oily in the scalp pretty fast then i would definitely recommend looking into some dry shampoos I personally don't really use dry shampoo that much um because normally i'll just keep my silk press in for two weeks i try not to like really extend it past that i can i know i can especially with the technique i'm about to show you guys but other than that those are my favorite two products that i really use all the time to extend my silk press now i'm going to show you how i maintain it all right so for tools the first thing you'll need is definitely a paddle brush i actually have a dual sided one this is by the brand diane and you can actually pick this up at ulta beauty it doesn't have to be a dual sided paddle brush just a regular paddle brush it doesn't even need to have a brush side so i like using this because this is going to help me wrap the hair very easily also of course a comb and this is the true star of the show this right here is called a doobie wrap if you grew up going to dominican hair salons y'all know exactly what i'm talking about this wrap right here is a game changer it makes wrapping your hair so fast i know a lot of girls um wrap their hair with the bobby pins or the um pin curl pins i uh, pretty much used to do that as well but one thing i noticed is it leaves a lot of dents in your hair and so i like this because not only is it a net but the way that you turn it will really just gather all the ha hair together and kind of mesh it down and keep it straight as you sleep so the first thing i'm going to do is take my paddle brush on the paddle brush side and I actually switch up the direction that I tie it down each night. So if you're going to go this way one night, you need to make sure you go the other way the other night. For some reason, I just noticed that my um, scalp feels sore if you keep doing it in the same direction. Because you got to think, 
the way that your hair is about to be laid down it's putting um tension on it in that way so you want to make sure you um you know switch it up so i like to comb my hair forward first and i'm gonna go this direction so i'm gonna take the petal brush and literally just start combing it and combing it around as if i am essentially wrapping it the standard way and sometimes i'll take the brush side and i'll smooth it around and i'm gonna leave the rest of this down i only wanted to get it started so now what i'm gonna do is take the zuby wrap and literally oop not my light went out back in action all right so i put the doobie wrap on and this is where the magic happens i am simply just going to spin but as i spin i'm going to take my back hand grab the rest of that hair pull and spin around and tuck the hair in and it's okay if you have a few pieces sticking out i just literally take my fingers and keep spinning it around town all right and when you are done spinning it around your hair should be tucked in like this so simple and easy and then all you do is take a regular scarf i like taking a large triangle scarf and simply just tying it down now what i also like to do is take the front part and tuck it under like so like kind of tuck it under where the front is so when you wake up you won't have like a hard dent on your forehead and also you won't have a hard dent on the hair either and i just tie it up and i like extra protection when i'm going to get in the shower so i go in with a bonnet and put that over now you can also leave that triangle scarf off and just put a bonnet on top and you should be good but when you i'm getting anywhere near that water i'm gonna put another uh, layer on so that's what i do and then normally i just go to bed like this but i also sleep on a satin pillowcase just in case it happens to slide off but that is pretty much it you guys if you do this every night i guarantee your hair is going to remain bone straight <laughs> especially if you use the products i just told you to when you take it off i just kind of spin it out of the direction let the hair fall then we're gonna find that part again brush it out in place I am also obsessed with my color refresh shout out to my girl Francesca she did my silk press and my color refresh I'll link all her stuff in my description box down below for you guys she's here located in Houston Texas but that is it everyone I hope you guys enjoyed my tips and tricks on how to make your silk press last up to two weeks or perhaps even longer than that but make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and let me know what you do to maintain your silk press in the comment section down below and I'll talk to you guys in my next video